Yeah, how do you find, identify, and stop lone wolf attackers like Omar Mateen and the San Bernardino terrorists? CBS 2's Randy Page put that question to one of the LAPD's top brass. The lone gunman in Orlando responsible for the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history, Omar Sadiq Mateen, was described by co-workers as unhinged and unstable. He spoke often of killing, a profile of a serial killer chillingly reminiscent of others who went before him. In 2009, Fort Hood Army psychiatrist Nadal Hassan shot and killed 13 people and injured 30. He was described as socially isolated, disconnected, aloof, and paranoid. Three years later, 25-year-old James Holmes murdered 12 people and injured 70 others inside a movie theater in Aurora, Colorado. In a notebook, he spoke of an obsession to kill 10 years prior to the attack. Three lone wolves, each of them angry, isolated, and committed to killing innocent lives. LAPD's top counterterrorism chief, Michael Downing. The message is that there's only a limited number of uh, law enforcement and, and FBI, and that we really need the community to kind of step up. So what can you do to help? Deputy Chief Downing says if you are aware of someone who expresses hatred and advocates violence, keep an eye out for behaviors that take those thoughts to the next level. For example, by planning an attack or acquiring weapons, then contact police. It's anything that targets innocent people with violence is what we want them to, to look out for. Downing says there are 10,000 sworn police officers in the city of Los Angeles. He's asking for help from the 4 million people who live here. In downtown Los Angeles, Randy Page, CBS2 News.